Zero looks very angry at this, like, dandelion he's staring at. Welcome back everybody to Mega Man Zero, or Mega Man X4 rather. The Mega Man with Zero though. In the last episode, we cleared up the remaining Mavericks and defeated the Colonel of the Replo Force. And in today's episode, we'll be taking the fight to them at the final weapon. Thankfully, the first final weapon stage shouldn't be too bad, all things considered. I'll use the Giga Crush right there. So it also fills up with weapon with uh just health and huh. Interesting, good to know. Boom. But yeah, damage is also obviously another way to to refill the the Rakuhoha. Is it Rakuhoha? Rakuhoha, okay. Now we're at the end here. Remember what I told you guys earlier about how uh, Iris and Colonel used to be one Reploid before they had to be separated? Well, what happens when they merge? Iris, so you fought with my brother. I'm sorry. Then it's over. Everything. Wait, Iris, listen to me. Goodbye, Zero. Iris! So that is Colonel's core. And it forcibly puts her into a ride armor. Alright. Unfortunately, we are gonna have to fight against Iris, but she's invincible. Sort of. Iris herself can't be damaged, but the core can be. Unfortunately, Iris doesn't make it easy. Every time you attack her, she summons drones, and you have to attack her for a period of time in order to actually get the core to release. Once you do, however, you gotta be careful. She'll continuously charge at you too, which means that it's difficult to actually avoid hitting her. No, I wanna... Fight that core. Nope, I'll use another E tank, sure. I always can be difficult just because she deals a lot of damage, too. It's a very unconventional fight, but it's kind of a cool one. And she's down! Oh. Iris. Zero. Hang in there, Iris. Please, stay away from Replifoss. Let's live together in a world where only Reploids exist. Iris, there's no world just for Reploid. It's only a fantasy. Yes, I know, but I wanted to believe it. I wanted to live in a world where only Reploids exist with you. Iris! 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 Ah! No, this isn't happening! There's no reason for me to go on! What? What am I fighting for? And with that, we have to put a stop to Rebel Force's ambitions. Which means it's time to clash with the General. Again. And it's probably going to be the hardest fight for Zero, too. Just. The General's a difficult guy. Uh, you know what? I didn't take the down path this time. Let's see what's down here. Bunch of robots. Now that guy's cool. I'll use the Giga Crush to get past him. Oh! Okay, that is not a uh, floor, that is in fact death. Ready. 
Maybe there's a good reason why I never took the bottom path. Granted, it's not like the top path is easy or anything, but I mean... At least I know what to do during it. Knowledge of something goes a long way. Let's avoid these Independence Day lasers. Get that. Make a fun pose as we go through the sliding door. And here we go. There is some asshole revving up his car back there. It's cool. Welcome to the General of the Rebel Force. General, many died because of you. Those lives are on your conscience. Independence always has a high price. What about Iris? Did you forget her? I have no regrets. Come on, Zero. My fate is sealed. I have no choice. Alright. General is hit in the same area that you have to hit him with X. But unfortunately, it's a lot more difficult as Zero, thanks to the fact that Zero has to get up close to him in order to do damage. And his ability to nullify projectiles doesn't work against those. So if it takes me a, a few tries to actually do this fight, don't be surprised. This is probably the hardest fight for Zero. It is a nightmare. And unfortunately, the back of his hands damage you as well. Mm. Wonder if I should just take a mulligan on this. Actually, you're making my life a lot easier right now, General. If you want to continue doing that, just come at me. Come at me, bro. I'm ripped. Yeah, come at me, bro. I'm ripped. I ripped my pants. That's how powerful I am. Oh, the javelins. Uh, come at me, please? No? More javelins? Alright. Clear- oh god, okay. Clearly General does not want to cooperate. I'll heal up a little bit, it's not gonna matter too much, but... You wanna- you wanna come at me again, bro? Come on, come at me. I'm right here, there's a nice juicy zero for you. Alright. Well. Mm, since we're not gonna be able to. Mm, I'll risk it. Come on. Come on. Giga Attack doesn't work on him. Could call it by its proper name, but it's easier to just call it Giga Attack, because that's the button. Okay. General! Oh, don't do this to me, General. Don't do this to me, General. You know what? I'll just spend this time dodging you. That's fine. It's cool. Until you decide you want to come at me. Mm, I'm not going to risk trying to attack him there. Get down here. Oh, more javelins. Ooh, that was close. Come on, you big, dumb, golden idiot. Get over here. Get your head over here so I can murder it. Murder face is gonna murder your face. And Zero is now murder face, apparently. Oh. 
damn it. Fuck it. I'll go in. Whatever. I'll take the risk. <laughs> Yeesh. What is this? What happened? No, this weapon can't be working. General, what's wrong? Someone else is controlling it. Then, Earth's in grave danger. It must be stopped. I'll handle this. And with that, we're on to our final challenge. But not quite yet. Before we go on to said final challenge, I'm gonna fill up our E-Tanks again. <laughs> Thankfully, I believe in this game, uh, your progress actually is saved for the fortress levels. So, uh, since we don't want to redo all of uh, those stages all over again, and since story-wise it wouldn't make sense to fight Iris in general now, considering they're dead, or at least have been destroyed, defeated, then I'm just going to use this as an opportunity to fill ourselves back up. Because the final stage is going to need that preparation. <laughs> and through the power of editing, we're on the final weapon. Final weapon plays out pretty much exactly like it does with X. Except, since we're playing a zero, obviously the bosses are a little bit harder for us to fight, but... Oh. Right. The boss refights. Uh, well, I've got eight lives and two full sub tanks, so cue the music. Alright, and with that, let's enter the teleporter to the next phase of our world domination. Hee hee hee, good work, Zero. You're Sigma, so was you. Yes, simply brilliant. You even defeated Colonel and Iris. You made me do it. No, you wanted to destroy them. Allow me to remind you that I was once the leader of the Maverick Hunters. What's our current situation? Commander! Where's that red Maverick that wiped out Garma's unit? In, inside. He's inside that door. You may leave now. I'll take care of this personally. 
By yourself, Commander? I don't want any more of my people being sacrificed. Look, it's Commander Sigma! Incredible. Now I'm certain there's no one who's a match for the Commander. What? Take that Red Maverick to the Repair Center and, and call Dr. Kane. I wish to have that Maverick studied. <sighs> Commander, are you okay? Silence! Ah. Zero. You were a maverick. What's your point? Are you that surprised? Ah, zero. You're a most impressive. Sigma, I will defeat you. Alright. Let's go into the Sigma fight. We have an E tank and about an eighth. We've got a little bit in the weapon tank in case we need to do Rokoha. Or Rakuhoha. But for now, say hello to that sick background again. I do really love the way that looks. It's so cool looking. I don't know what its purpose is. It doesn't have anything to do with the rest of the game. I don't know why it's on the final weapon, but it looks so cool. I think somebody installed it and the Rebel Force was just like, alright, well, it's a work of art. We'll keep it in the keep it on the final weapon. Like, it's a background that makes sense for, like, the Grim Reaper Sigma fight and stuff, but... What's it doing on the space station? Anyway, Sigma here is weak to the Ryu engine. Similar to how he's weak to the Rising Fire, and in, I didn't cover this earlier, but, um... You can actually only damage him with fire-based attacks in this room. Thankfully, however, it's really easy to damage him with fire-based attacks in this form. I've been waiting for you, Zero. It's time for us to settle this. Alright. 
Phase 2 functions pretty much the same as it does in X's story, except we don't have a lightning web to use, but we don't really need it either. Sigma here can be hit by the, like, the multi-slash trick too. But I find that it's, like, not really worth me going for it. Because anytime I do try to go for it, I usually, uh mess up and accidentally uh, have the scythe hit the, w the floor instead of the walls. Like in X's phase, you want to guide the scythe to the walls. If it hits the floor, he does a boomerang attack that's very difficult to avoid. But if you just take him to the walls, it's easy peasy. And now... Well, we're gonna get a little bit more sub-tank energy here. Ha ha ha, you're finished, Zero. Iris is waiting for you. Wow, what a dick move. Terror, you are finished. It's time for Final Sigma. Alright, of note, you can destroy these heads using Ryu Engine. And sometimes it's really good to do so. Uh, Raijingeki also happens to be pretty good at damaging them as well. In order to damage, uh... The boss, however, non-elemental saber slashes have to be used. So you can't damage him with Ryu Engine or uh, Ra Raijingeki or uh, Hyozetsu-san, or however it's pronounced. But you can damage him with things like Shipuga, so... And of course our uh, circle attack as well, the Pizza Cutter. See, Ryu Engine takes care of those easily. Uh, I'm gonna use the small spare here just to get a little bit more health back. If Sigma's nice, we should be able to kill this form off at least. Sigma be nice, Sigma not nice. Oh well. Sigma doesn't need to be nice until his boss fight. He makes the rules. I'm the giant robot that makes all of the rules. <laughs> Uh, let's heal. Because I hate to swallow my pride, I also hate dying, so... There's no shame in using a sub-tank if you need to. That's one part down. Now, Sigma, if you would be so kind as to blow me... Oh, you're being a nice boy right now! Oh, look at that! Which means Sigma's probably gonna do something really shitty next time. Please no shit. Please no shitty. It's working! It's working! My sneaky scheme is working! It's only a matter of time before that hedgehog's mine! There we go. Oh, not good. I'll just use that to iframe through, I guess. That might just be the strategy there, just wait and use Rakuhoha. Please be kind. Almost, almost, we're almost there. Mm, not what I wanted to see. Definitely not what I wanted to see. Sigma, blow me. Oh, thank you, thank you. Doing a little bit of damage though. That's fine. Blow me again, Sigma. Oh, look at you being a good boy. Look at you being a good boy. It's over! Yeah! <laughs> What's so funny? This weapon is aimed at Earth. No one can stop it. No! 
<laughs> Goodbye, Zero. Nice, that was super clean. Okay, well, maybe not super clean, but it was cleaner than I was expecting, at least. So, I didn't die, so that's good. General. Zero. I was wrong. Sigma. He blinded me to the truth. Why were you trusting Sigma? He's a bad guy. It's okay. Rest. With my body, I can stop the weapon. But then you'll... It's over for this soldier. Farewell. General! That's that. That's game, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is what happened to me. This is my fate. I couldn't save anyone after all. Iris! <laughs> Please stop, brother! Sarah! Iris, did we Reploids all turn out to be Mavericks after all? And that's a bit of a bittersweet ending, isn't it? We saved the world, but at what cost? God, I said it before in X's storyline, but man, I love Mega Man X4. It's such a good game. My only real gripe with it, I guess, is... I mean, the Colonel fight's a little bit tedious. And the game sorta tapers off by the end game. I wish the, like, the end game stages were a little bit more... involved and cool and stuff, like they were in Mega Man X1. But I can also understand why they didn't do that. Maybe I can understand why they didn't do that. Anyway, Zero's story is fun. Zero does play very differently from X. And his melee combat is overall pretty satisfying, even though X4 sorta isn't designed with Zero in mind. I feel like, uh, I feel like when it comes to Mega Man X4, the levels, Zero can get through them, but some of the bosses are a little bit not necessarily great for Zero. And I think that the fact that you have to unlock double jump and uh, dashing when you don't have to do that in later X games kind of throws things off a little bit. But it does kind of give Zero as well the ability to get stronger over time that X does and makes up for the fact that he doesn't get capsules. As far as that goes, however, that's two stories in the bag, and Mega Man X4 was a pretty nice and short and sweet let's play, wasn't it? Definitely a game that I really like playing, and of the three games on the PlayStation, X4 is the best. Of the four games, if we count X3, X4 is still the best. X4 just has a lot going for it that's really well, that's really well done, that other games just couldn't do. And I see why this game is, like, second only to Mega Man X1, for a lot of people. That being said, however, there are still some little bonus features that I do want to cover before the end of this Let's Play. So, of course, I'm going to be cutting ahead to those.
The battle has ended, but for some reason Zero's memories of the past continue to haunt his mind. As a hunter, it is his duty to go after those mavericks, and at the same time, he knows that it is his destiny to defeat his friend one day. Two different people, two different fates. In the future, Zero's decision will lead two great hunters to King Tragedy. The future is coming. Alright, for this, I'm going to be doing two things. Showing off the cheat codes that allow you to get the ultimate armor for X and Black Zero for Zero. First, I'm going to be doing Zero since it's going to require a little bit less uh, cutting and editing to do this. Alright, so... On the Nintendo Switch version, there are different instructions for different uh, consoles as well. But then for this, hold R while holding R input right on the D-pad six times. Release R, hold B, and press start. If you do this successfully, and we skip the intro cutscenes, it's gonna take a sec. Zero will spawn in, in a different color. In later games of the series, this powers up Zero and makes him take less damage and makes him stronger. In X4, however, it's completely cosmetic. Though Black Zero is a shout-out to Zero's black appearance in Mega Man X2 if you don't get all of Zero's parts and have to fight him. Otherwise, he plays exactly the same as Zero does previously, so... For this other code, it's going to require a little bit more work, but just a little bit. Press B twice, left on the D-pad six times, hold L1 and R2, and press start. Again, we won't see the visual change until after we get into the intro stage, so let's get into that. So now that we're in the intro stage, you'll notice that X is a different color. Uh, for all the parts that were light blue previously, are now purple. Now this doesn't affect X yet, but it will affect X once we actually get to an armor capsule. Alright, now that we're actually at a capsule, let's open her up, skip the spiel, press buttons, and with the capsule, just going to a single capsule will net you the ultimate armor. The ultimate armor has a few major advantages over your standard armor. Okay, well, a few major advantages. First off, it's quicker to obtain than collecting all four parts. It also has the plasma shot by default. But more than that, the Nova Strike has unlimited uses now. And since the Nova Strike is an invincible attack, if you time it right, well, it's pretty good for dealing damage. Ooh. 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 Like that, see? And with that said, those are the only two cheat codes in the game, so... Thank you to everyone who tuned in, thank you to everyone who supported the videos by liking, favoriting, whatever, etc, etc. And I'll see you guys probably when I finish up Sonic Colors, whenever that will be. And then who knows? I'll see you guys later. This is Tales Frog signing out. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.